Yeah, so I was just out on a normal ride for the day, just, you know, enjoying the beautiful weather, and I came across this sign. No idea what it means. Last night sucked. I didn't get much sleep. You wouldn't know by looking at how pretty it is outside. What sort of hellscape it was from 12 to 2 a.m. You know, for the most part, I don't mind doing this trip alone, but there are those days where you just, you really wish you could share your campsite with something or someone. Woo! No one around. Clearwater River made breakfast. Well, this is how good that organic bug repellent is doing. Just dandy, as you can tell. That's a lot of mosquitoes. All right, y'all, time to climb some hills. We're leaving the river. Go by Lakshinabura, blah, blah, river. I will miss you. It has been great chilling with you. So for all y'all out there who think that this kind of trip is just rainbows, butterflies, and sunshine, not always. And we got about 2,000 feet of climbing up to about 5,000 feet where the rain might turn to ice. Who knows? Let's do this. Wow. Oh, oh, there's some snow. Nearly to 5,000 feet, and it started sleeting. Very nice. So Squish, I got a serious question for you, man. You got the Lolo. Cuz, yeah, we're a little high on it. Giant and hail going on at the same time right now. Missoula has some pretty cool weather. Decided to stay an extra day in Missoula in order to Go check out the Adventure Cycling Association and cruise around town a little bit. Right now I'm walking to the bike shop, which is about four or five miles away, to get my bike, which needed some desperate love. I don't want to be out in the middle of a Jellystone and have my crank break or have my chain snap. But I did want to say this one thing. Check this out. This is a bike path they're constructing. This whole town has bike paths running all through it. All right, well, I'm gonna keep walking. Cheers. I got my bike back from the shop. <laughs> but check it out. A shiny new cassette and chain. Another really exciting moment, guys. I'm here in Missoula, Montana at the Adventure Cycling Association headquarters. What a trip, man. What a trip. I found him again. First in Iowa, now over here in Montana. 2,000 miles. I did that yesterday and I didn't even know. <laughs> Definitely not as exciting as the first thousand. Not that big, wow! That's when I hit a thousand. Como? Waldo? Some people just don't fit in. 
So those motorcyclists driving away right there in that fog that is the smudges over my camera lens. They bought me a beer and my dinner. And I'm staying here for free in town because the campsite I wanted to, to stay at is closed, but the people there were like, hey, just throw up your tent, no worries. This town, Darby in Montana, nice. Oh shit. This guy just stopped off, said he was a warm showers host and invited me to stay at his place for the night. Affirmation from the universe. That's what I've been receiving today. Oh, sweet. What was it, the uh, last, last of the, the dogmen? Dog and it's about a band of Cheyenne that are called the dogmen, and they escaped back into these mountains, and they finally find them, kind of stumbled across them years later. Oh, and they were just like a lost tribe kind of thing? Yep. Amazing. This is why I ride and run on this road. <laughs> I just left my amazing host. Uh, from Darby, Montana. He's a warm showers guy. So what he did is he took me around in his SUV, showed me all around town, uh, and even took me up the hill that I'll be riding today, which was kind of a mixed uh, positive and negative. I have to go from about 3,800 to 71 over the next five or six miles. Five or six miles. So. Lots of climbing ahead, 